Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all super well today. In Sydney, it's raining since yesterday. It's really dark outside, so I moved myself into my dressing room in the hope to find a better light so this video can go actually live and it is quite okay quality at least. Anyhow, from the title of the video, you can see that we are going to talk about 10 for Paul that ruin our style. It's not for everyone, so if it's one of you, just skip the video, please. Otherwise, I would really love to hear what you have to say. If I omitted anything or if you disagree, this is an open conversation, guys. It's just my opinion. So let's just get right into it. First of the points, guys, it's nothing else uh, than wearing wrong size clothes. I mean, you see it every day on the streets. People either buy small size in the hope they will lose weight. It does happen. It never happens. So 90% of people usually never do lose weight. So why do we bother buying uh, small clothes? I'm not sure. Maybe there is a last size or we really want to go on a diet. Guys, it never works, so just forget it. Don't buy clothes if you want to go on a diet, different size. Just doesn't look good. It doesn't look good when the clothes is tight and you can see all the bumps and all the bits. I mean, I saw it even on the red carpet. I saw it every single day on the streets. It just doesn't look good. Also, I fully understand, I am one of them. We put a couple kilos on and some of the clothes is a little bit tighter. So in that period of time, I just do not wear those clothes. First of all, it's uncomfortable. And secondly, it does not look good. So guys, smaller size clothes, definitely not. Also, I, so many times I'm in a boutique when two friends are shopping and one is trying on a dress and second is advising that the dress fits nicely. And you can see she hardly can zip up the dress or, you know, it's just not the right size. Guys, check yourself in mirror. You know yourself the best. If something doesn't fit properly, you can't zip it up, whatever, you know that it's not your size. I mean, we all can be beautiful, doesn't matter what size you are. Just put your correct size and you would look much better. Second point nicely ties up with the first one. Wearing clothes that do not fit due to the different body shape. If you take, let's say, 10 people that have the same size, small, large, whatever, name it. So then people will have the same size. They are all different body shape. Doesn't necessarily mean if they are size small, they can fit the same dress or the same pants, whatever it may be. Because the body shape is different. And that's why we have to look at the clothes that really fit us properly. For example, I do not fit all of the designers through my lifetime and ordering so many clothes. I know which designer design clothes that fit me perfectly and some, they are just amazing, beautiful, would I wear them? No, because they do not fit properly to my body shape. Secondly, if I really, really want something and I love it, I still would buy it and go to my tailor. Tailor is always the saver. They can do wonders. However, we have to be aware that tailoring can be done in some cases. In some cases, the tailoring can change the whole look and the design. So we have to be aware of that as well, not to tailor just too much. Sometimes we just have to forgo the item that we just want so much. Third point nicely tied up with second point, following the trends. Now, I think we are all guilty of it, especially the ones that are watching the video. We want it all. Uh, it's 21st century, we see it all over social media, from YouTube to Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, name it. However, is it good? Yes and no. Again, we go back to our body shape. Does it fit to our body shape? Secondly, does it fit to our lifestyle? Am I gonna to wear it 
am I gonna to use the item? And thirdly, the geographic means something too. Am I gonna to wear it where I currently live? Am I gonna to use it? So for example, uh, once I told you in a video, I love the Louis Vuitton long coats, but in Sydney, Yes, I do wear coats, but they are really lightweighted, short. Like, we do not need really heavy, heavy coats here. The same like Max Mara coats that are like, you know, the teddy coats. They are so popular. It was a trend. Am I gonna to wear it here? No, so I'm not gonna to buy it because it would be sitting in my closet. Body shape, the same guys. There are trends that just would not fit me or I do not feel comfortable in them so I'm not gonna to buy them. Don't buy into the trends weight. Check it out if you would really really want it. So many times I wait until the whole social media is over and then I decide if I really really like it. Number four guys, underwear. In my opinion underwear is for bedroom Definitely it should not be showing through the cloth. So, brass. Look what you are wearing. The brass should not be showing. So, the best 99% nude brass are working. You get good quality brass that just do not show. Maybe under the black nude won't be working. Depends what the material is. Just check yourself in the mirror and the best during daylight. If something is showing, it's not a good look because the attention is going from the whole look just right there into your other way. Unless you want the attention, just don't do it. The same is with your undies. Guys, I know there are two groups of females, one for the G-strings, one with undies. Guys, I don't care what you opt. They are such a good quality and these uh, seamless and these they just do not show. Check yourself in mirror. It doesn't take too long. And this should not be showing the lines. It's just not good look. In this category, I would also include bra straps showing and the tops. Guys, how many times everyone says that? The straps should not be showing. And I fully understand if you are bigger busted, um, you need a proper support, you need a bra with the strap. So the tops are just not for you. There are so many beautiful tops that you can pull off and you will still look sexy and beautiful. Just don't put on top with a bra and strap showing on your shoulders or if you have a backless top, it doesn't look good. And for those who want to have a top with a open bag or show your shoulders, guys, they are strapless bra, the bra that you can just stick on or you know you can tie it up around the waist. There are different options. Check it out, invest in one of those. They are the best options for such a tops. Point five. Again, labels, tags, you name it, of your garments showing. Why? Why? We have a text, yes, here, but you can't see it. Especially this year, the trends coming through to wear see-through items, you know, the tops or different nets. You like it? Wear it. But take the tag off. They are usually on a side. And again, if you do not wear blazer over it or whatever, it just sticks out. Not a nice look. And again, we get to see through tops. Do not wear your underwear. Now the fashion trend is for bralettes. So get the bralettes, matching bralettes or different color bralettes. I, I, okay, Jace, do not wear your underwear. Or you can wear a simple camisole if it's see-through. The same is shoes. Guys, I, I don't think anymore they stick the price on the shoes. They used to do it, but there's still a little sticker on every single new shoes. Take it off. Sometimes it's harder to take it off, but take it off. When I walk behind a female and I see the stickers, the side is going right there because it attracts my eye. It's just not a nice look. Why? You have a beautiful shoe and you have a sticker behind. 
it doesn't take too much of your time to take the sticker off. Number six. Now guys, I would call this point final look. Before you leave the house, check your slurping mirror. First of all, and I will just mention it because it's such a basics, but I see it still every day on the streets. An iron cloth. Why do you leave the house with squeezed up cloth? Doesn't look good, just iron it properly. The same, you have to get to know a little bit the material. If I go to work and I'm about to sit at work the whole day, I'm not gonna to wear linen suit. Yes, I love linen. I've got linen suit, I've got linen pants, a lot of linen items, but I would just not wear it to work where I'm about to sit the whole day because I know how it's gonna to look unless I want to bring to work my steamer and um, adjust the clothes at the end of the day or when I've got meetings not nice look the same a lot of people have pets at home guys the hair sticks on your cloth so check for those also if you have a last drink if you eat something drops on your clothes I even saw it in one of the top top boutiques sales associate had the drips on her shirt is it nice look no my eyes were stuck on that bits on her shirt doesn't look good also if you put your clothes on after you put makeup on which I always do because I do not like to put makeup after I'm dressed make sure that the makeup does not color transfer on your tops look I've got a white hoodie I put my makeup on so obviously you take look scarf or anything what you have I have this special thing that you tied up around your head not to have the makeup transfer on your collar again doesn't look good how much of your time does it take to put a scarf on your head or t-shirt take anything really it doesn't necessarily have to be a specific scarf you know to tie it up around your face so there are the little bits and pieces that you should pay attention to because they complete the whole look the same with the shoes if you have a worn out shoes don't wear them take them to shoemaker they can bring life to them again they can repair them just don't wear the shoes out until they are like collapsing it's not nice look either and clean shoes guys it's uh, worth to mention clean shoes are gold i love clean shoes on everyone <laughs> Now, next point is point seven, and I don't know if I should mention it, and I will be crucified for it, but I will just slightly touch on it because it is so basic, but I still see it on the streets. So I would call the whole thing basic hygiene. It means brush your hair before you leave the house. If you don't want to put your color on and you've got a gray hair, you love to rock gray hair, go for it. Uh, you don't want to cut your hair, put it in ponytail, that's fine. Just brush them, do something with them. Just don't go out with unbrushed hair, untidy hair. We all have a bad hair day and in that case I use my head. Easy solution. Also, facial hair, just get rid of it. Men should hide up their beard. Brush your eyebrows. You don't need to put makeup if you do not want to put makeup. You don't like it? Don't put it. I don't wear makeup every day, but I still tied up my eyebrow, still brush my hair before I leave the house. The same guys, dental, oral care. Yes, we were all not born with beautiful teeth. Mostly it relies on our gene, but also on a diet. And diet, we can adjust. Another couple points to personal hygiene, I would definitely add manicure and pedicure. I mean, I don't need to go into details, but if you do not like nail polishes, just have it nicely manicured, you know, the hands look so different when they are nicely done. Uh, you don't need to go to salons. I do my manicure and pedicure most of the time at home because nobody does it the way I like it. And pedicure, if you like open sandals for summer or even throughout the year, 
definitely it's a must. You can have uh, shoes that are the most expensive if the pedicure is not done, guys. They just do not look good. As I said, I only slightly touched this point, but I think all of you know what I'm referring to. Point eight. Point eight, again, I see all over the streets and I'm surprised sometimes not only the young girls, okay, the women in my age, they still can't walk in high heels. Just don't wear them, guys. Just don't wear them. If you want to learn, start with the kitten heel and work your way up to high heels. Even this weekend, um, we were in a pub. If you follow me on my Instagram and stories, there was a party and the young girls, they were so beautiful. They were so beautiful, beautifully dressed up and they couldn't walk in high heels. It looks funny. It just destroys all your look. So buy high heels, walk in them at home. Learn how to walk in high heels. I'm pretty sure there will be on YouTube some lessons how to walk. I am not sure. Um, I remember when I was in my teenage age, my mom bought me very high heels and I learned at home. So learn how to walk in high heels. Point nine, and it will be, I think, a controversy because let's face it, it used to be a fashion trend, but I think this point and mention it so many times, leggings. Leggings are not for everyday wear. Why? Guys, there are so many other comfortable pants. If you really have to, wear track pants. Even that looks still better than leggings. I mean, leggings, especially with crop tops, it shows everything. You can be even size extra, extra small. It doesn't look good. It's not sexy. It used to be a trend and I am the one who says, if you love the trends, follow the trends. Yes, but when the trend came into fashion, it was leggings and very long oversized jumpers or t-shirt. It never been crop tops and leggings and showing all your bits and pieces. Doesn't matter what size you are, it is not sexy, it's not fashionable. The last point 10. Fake everything. Fake handbags, fake shoes, fake cloth. Me personally, I'm against it. First of all, it's not nice market. Secondly, it is visible. Even the best of the best fakes, they are visible, that they are fake, at least for the people who know the brands and who know the quality, who know the items. And thirdly, there are so many different brands on the market, middle range, lower range, they have beautiful items. So why not invest in them? So I've got this fake item that costs two, three hundred dollars and then I've got this real bag, real item that costs two, three hundred dollars. Which one would I choose? Definitely the one that is real, that got real logo on. You know, there are brands like Michael Kors, um, uh, Tory Burch, Coach, they make beautiful stuff. Nice, high quality items with beautiful leather. Why not to go for those? Would I choose one of them? Definitely. What do you think when I was young? What brands was I wearing or carrying? The same. So, difference between the dupes or fake and inspired is a little bit different. So I'm not against inspired items because obviously if one designer take the design of the other one. It's not the nicest look. I'm still always like, hmm, should I buy that item? Not, but at least they do not put the logo of the other designer on the thing. Those are their items. So it looks different, the inspired items than the really dupe and fake items. Anyhow, guys, this is my opinion. You do you, as long as you are happy, and you are comfortable in your own skin wearing all those items. So guys, that was it from today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love you to join my YouTube family. Also, I would love to know your thoughts on Fashion Vopo. What was your or worst 
I shouldn't follow in your life, what you may disagree or what I may have omitted in these 10 faux pas. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day guys. Take care of yourself. Ciao.